the successful launch of a rocket in India is not just a major scientific achievement. It symbolizes a definite transition from the developing to the developed world. Some of India's best scientists contribute to such achievements, like those working at the Indian Space Research Organization in Ahmedabad, the capital city of Gujarat. The fact that sewage water is recycled for gardening may hardly be considered a great achievement for such an institution. But some of the staff working here are indirectly involved in an unusual story of recycling waste. Nearly 700 staff members eat the lunch supplied by the institutional canteen. Naturally, large quantities of vegetables are needed for the daily menu. And before they are cooked and served, they need to be cleaned, peeled and chopped. The waste from so many vegetables and other cooking activity presents a disposal problem. Before 1990, the combined waste was just dumped into earth pits. But with the help of a local energy development agency, a biogas plant from wet canteen waste was set up. With such a method of waste management, a high-tech space research organization has succeeded in recycling waste to produce energy. And with the biogas, they have reduced some consumption of an expensive petroleum-based cooking fuel, LPG. With a daily saving of 40 rupees, the canteen now saves nearly 15,000 rupees of their yearly cooking gas expense. 300 kilograms of wet canteen waste is systematically collected every day. And about 15 cubic meters of biogas is produced from the waste of raw vegetables, general cooking and leftover food. The cost of setting up this biogas plant has already paid itself back in less than two years and spared the land from becoming a dumping ground. There are innumerable institutions in India which run canteens as a work benefit for their staff. They all generate large quantities of waste. With this method of waste management, they can produce energy and contribute to national savings, both in terms of money and the LPG fuel itself.